Okay, now we move to another topic within graphing functions of two variables. We have been so far doing examples of functions of two variables. There's a tool that we will learn in this video called level curves. Also, we call contour lines. Some people call them contour curves, contour lines. Um, that will help us uh, plot a function of two variables nicely. Or at least understand it uh, nicely. Um, let's go back to function of one variable. We got so used to drawing y plus f of x here and x here here that we never thought that maybe other way to display this information. Let me show you this graph. You'll say, what is the graph? I don't see the graph. But it's in fact a graph. It's, it's a plot of a well-known function of one variable. Can you guess? Uh, these are x value 0, x value 1, x equal 2, x equal 3, x equal 4. So actually, this is the function, as you might be guessing right now, f of, y, uh, f of x sorry, equals x squared. As opposed to the usual parabolic plot, we could plot it this way. What have we done? We have labeled all the points where the function has a value of 0, which is only this one. All the points where the function has a value of 1, which are these two, at 1 minus 1. All the points where the function has a value of 4, which, are, uh, which is at 2 and negative 2. 9 is at 3 and negative 3, and so on and so forth. This is actually a valid and a nice way to depict the information of f of x equals x squared. It's just not the way you usually used to seeing it, but it has all the information that you need. It, uh, it shows you that when you grow by one unit, the, 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 the growth in this rate is parabolic. Uh, it's quadratic rather, I should say. Um, so, we're going to adapt this idea. Let's take an example of a function of two variables. So the idea here was that we drew only the input space. We only drew the input space, which was one variable, and wrote the values of the outputs. So, let's take f of x, y equals x squared plus y squared square root. Okay? The input space is 2D, x and y, right? Now let's see, where is this function 0? It's here, only at the origin. The only way to be 0 is here. So I'll write a 0 here. When is this function a 1? Meaning, you solve the equation x squared plus y squared equals 1. So you get, you get which is x squared plus y squared equals 1 squared, which is a circle of radius 1. So all the points in this circle, in the input world, or have value 1. Now, instead of writing 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, here, I'm just going to make it easy. I'm going to write that curve, uh, draw that curve, and I'm going to just somewhere here label it. I'm going to call it, this is the value of 1. Similarly, when is this function uh, uh, as a value of uh, 2? So, I do the same math here. I get x squared plus y squared plus 2 squared. So, that's the circle of radius 2. So, on the circle of radius 2, um, it has a value of, uh, it has a value of 2. Okay? If you do this similarly, 3, 3, uh, 3 squared, right? You'll get on the circle of radius 3, it has a value of 3. So, this is what's a level curve. Level curve is curve with this equation, where f of x, y is a constant, right? This is a curve where f has a constant value of 3, this is a curve where f has a constant value of 2, 1, 0 is only there, and so on and so forth. Another way to think of it, if you, that you, have, you see, what was this? This was the cone opening upwards. If you cut that at height 1, height 2, height 3, what do you get? Height 1, you get the circle, height 2, you get the circle, height 3, you get the circle. Let's take a different example and see how uh, very similar looking formulas or level curves can really be quite different surfaces. f of x, y equals x squared plus y squared. Okay? If I were to now here, okay, it's 0 only at 0, so that's the same. It's 1, so x squared plus y squared equals 1, that's the circle of radius 1. So, right, this is 1. When is it 2? 
Well, when you said x square plus y square equal to 2, that's what it's 2. What does that mean? x square plus y square is equal to 2. Oh, so it's x square plus y square equals square root of 2, square. This is circle of radius square root of 2, which is 1.4. So if this is 1 and this is 2, 1.4 is roughly here. This is 2. When is it 3? This x square plus y square equals 3, which is x square plus y square equals square root of 3, square. So it's a circle of radius 1.7 roughly. I think square root of 3 is roughly 1.7. Uh, so that's roughly here. Okay? And at 2, which level curve passes through 2? 2, 0. If I plug 2, 0 here, I get f of x, y equals 4. So the x square, f, x square plus y square equals 4 is the circle of radius 2. Let's say 2 is here. Right? And you see the difference here. This level contour, uh, contour map, uh, when we draw a collection of level curves, we call it a contour map. This contour map versus this contour map. Remember, what is this? This is your cone opening upwards, circular cone. This is your paraboloid opening upwards, the circular paraboloid. Because this grows steeper, even if you go up by constant height and cut it, the circle is pretty close to the other guy because the curve is steeper. I'm going to depict, demonstrate to you this physically. Uh, look here at the cone, right? This is the cone. So what I've done is I've cut it at equal heights. I took this height and went up by exact, uh, equal interval, equal interval, and I drew those circles. So you see those are your circles. And if you see it this way, you see they equally seem like equally spaced. It looks like a contour map for the first, the cone example. Uh, imagine this, the profile of this ball is a parabolic profile. So if now I have, I don't know if you can see those lines, I've drawn them at equal height, I go up by equal height, equal height, equal height, equal height. But when you look at it this way, look what you see, right? It looks like this contour map. Right? So this kind of contour map tells you because you go in a very short distance, you go from 3 to 4, which means this part is steeper than this part or this part. But here, this is equally steep and this is equally steep. So it seems like here the steepness is same and here the steepness is getting steeper, steeper. Right? So that gives you the information that what this surface looks like. It looks like it, it, it is actually the circular parabola. This idea of contour map, the name contour map is very old idea, the way maps used to be drawn with the mountains and, and the valleys, you draw all the, the curve where the, the, a certain mountain has a profile of 1500 meters and then a smaller curve inside it where it is 1600 meters and if the peak is at 1800 then you have a little single plus sign there. Those are called contour maps, look it up online, we use these also weather maps, isobars are li lines of equal pressure, isotherms, lines of equal temperature and so on and so forth. So it's a very powerful tool to be able to uh, visualize the surfaces that come from graphing functions of two variables for now. Uh, so contour maps uh, using contour lines and orbital level curves. Okay.